granted asylum here in the U.S. Are you grateful for that? Am I? Uh, am I grateful for that? I feel more of like I'm kind of entitled to it. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back going to new video. Today, come check it out. Just Lee Peterson versus entitled immigrants seeking asylum. Okay, let's check this video out together. I think you guys are like um, also worried about the fact that there are people from other countries are coming in here and changing the culture of America. Yes. I think that's completely fine. Why would that be a problem? You think that's fine to change the culture of America? Yeah. If they do that and we allow that, they're going to end up with the same kind of hellhole they left. Okay. You were granted asylum here in the U.S. Are you grateful for that? Am I... Uh, am I grateful for that? I feel more of like I'm kind of entitled to it. Like I can, so, so yeah. So yeah, I wouldn't say, say grateful. So I'm, I'm really? just like, yeah, yeah, you guys should let me in here. So yeah, so. <laughs> so you feel entitled to asylum here in this country, why? Um, I'm pretty much like a pro-immigrant open border kind of person. Right, so uh, well, why yeah. should we let you in though? Why? Why are you feel entitled to come here? Oh. That we should allow you to just come here. Well, I'm kind of uh, like far left socialist, and so the philosophy of that is just um, help the people who are in need. So uh. I think, and uh, yeah, and I fit the criteria for um, asylum here. And so you're so. not grateful because you feel entitled. Uh, you you could. Uh, I'm I'm happy <laughs> that you guys let me in here. So right. grateful. Uh, you, you, maybe you could use that word. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is mind blowing. And so, were you, <laughs> were you let in under President Trump or Obama administration? Um, I was let in just a few months, like a few months after. Yeah, Ob uh, Trump administration. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which um, many people say that the reason why I was there so long is perhaps due to like the pro-Trump, the, the um, anti-immigrant sentiments that Trump created with his administration. So that, that could be a factor. The reason you were where so long? Well, I, I was in uh, jail. Oh, so once so you came here because you were uh, an, uh, an immigrant, you were in jail for a while. Yeah, because that's the horrible thing about the immigration system, which m most Americans don't know, is that they treat you as a threat before you prove otherwise. Right. And so you have to basically fight a court case while in jail. Okay. And during that whole court case, you have to be in jail, which is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and, <laughs> How yeah. did they find out you were here? Because you just came in, you flew in, and did you turn yourself in or something? How did they know you were in this country? How did I? Did, how did I just, I just came in completely legally with a passport. And then in the airport, uh, I was just, uh, I didn't think that if I told them I wanted to immigrate here, um, they would arrest me. And so uh -huh. once I was in the airport, I was like, yeah, yeah, I want to uh, come in here and immigrate. <laughs> yeah, which is very weird because if I effectively sneaked in past the customs and then I applied for asylum, I wouldn't be sent to jail. Right. But since I told them right at the airport, then, you know, they had, I had to spend the time in jail and wait for my court case to finish, then go out. So it's a pretty horrible immigration system. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, how long were you in jail here? Um, how, how long? Uh, 11 months. Which really? Is horrible, yeah. Wow. Very ironic that I spent longer time in jail here than in Singapore. Though, though the, the um, quality of the jails here were better. So. And so, yeah. what, what were you doing while in jail? Just make, making the best time I could, like um, exploring the people, yeah. talking to the jail people, uh, learning chess. I spent a lot of time learning about chess. So. <laughs> And so, are you going to stay here, or are they going to grant you citizenship? Um, in, yeah, maybe in like a five, t uh, ten years. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, you lived in Chicago for a while. You were in jail in Chicago, I mean, Illinois, and you lived there. How do you like L.A. compared to Chicago? L.A. seems more my kind of people, I think. The, the people in L.A. seem more entrepreneurial, diverse, creative, and also it's m much more uh, left-wing in L.A., I think. Oh, yeah, Chicago it is. Pretty, yeah. It is. So, yeah, I think people are more my kind of vibe. I also like the scenery. It seems, uh, it's, it seems better. Nice palm trees and stuff. How are you yeah. taking care of yourself? Do you have a job? Do I have a job? Um, I'm pretty much uh, money from YouTube and online donations. 
money from YouTube and all that donation? Yeah, they really? made just enough to you know, pay rent and food. Uh, so you have an apartment and everything, and you made your money from YouTube? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Isn't yeah, like just, just enough. I wish I ha had more money. You, know, <laughs> you can't do that in Singapore. Uh, oh, I was doing that in Singapore. You're paying your own rent from YouTube? Uh, oh, in, in Singapore, it's, it's, uh, it's free rent because, you know, parents are there. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what do you think of uh, Donald Trump uh, immigration policy? I know you just said it's bad, but what do you think of President Trump's immigration policies? Oh, yeah, they're horrible. And, yeah. I mean, yeah, basically it's been all anti-immigrant deport, lots of mass deportations uh, preventing people from coming in. Yeah, I think it's uh, absolutely horrible. Um, and, and do you think that we should allow illegal aliens to just come into our country? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that, that's, that's the um, very bad thing. Um, they say that, um, you know, you let people from more dangerous countries come in, it increases the crime rate. And that's the thing, like, what, 0.1% of the people who come in um, are actually a threat and they increase the crime rate, but 99.9% .9 of the people, the illegal people who come in, they benefit the economy, they lead a much more better life than they did in, in other countries. So I think there's a far bigger net benefit to letting these immigrants in. But they don't and enhance the country. They come in and they drain the system. They rely on the government for free housing, free food, education. free education, sure. free everything. So you have illegals coming into your country and you don't know who they are. You have criminals and drug dealers and drugs and all kinds of MS-13 gang members coming in. Why should we allow that into our country? The bad people who don't contribute, who rape and do crimes or whatever, is a very small percentage. But how do you know that? How do I know that? Yes. Um, stats and like general common sense, I think, what, are you saying that what majority of the illegal people who come in are dangerous, yes. bad people? Yes, absolutely. No, I, I don't think that's true. No, 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 it's absolutely true. true. How, how, how is it true? They, uh, like a stat? Oh, just the other day, a drunk driver, uh, illegal from um, El Salvador or somewhere. Ah, you see, that's the thing. You guys always like take these um, anecdotal stories uh -huh. and you all make it seem like these small, uh, isolated cases represents a huge immigration problem when they just make up like 0.1% of the people who come in here. Whereas 99% of the illegal immigrants, they're all benefiting the economy and leading a good, better life not. than they have here. They're not, so. they're not good workers or anything. Well, I think that especially in LA, there are like many- I'm sorry? Especially in, in LA, there are like many jobs where um, immigrants like do and provide that generally benefits the economy, especially in LA, because so well, yeah. <laughs> most of them send their monies back to the country that countries that they came from. Even if that were true, uh, I, I don't see a much big problem with that. So yeah, I, I don't look at it in a way that um okay, I look at it in a way that uh, you let immigrants in, you manage to help more people in the world as opposed to just thinking about yourself. Well, we do in let them in. We let them come into the front door. Mm -hmm. and uh, not the wide open door, just walk across the border. Uh, so they do come in, but we need to put, a, are you for the wall around the borders? President Trump is gonna oh. put up a big, beautiful wall. Oh no, it's ridiculous, just a complete waste of money. So <laughs> yeah, you're pro-Trump for the wall, 100%. I assume? 100%. Huh. Big, okay. And I want it to be big and beautiful and a white wall. Interesting, okay. <laughs> Nice. Are you surprised uh, that I'm for that? Nah, black conservative, so I, I get that. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah. What do you get I'm, about that? But you're for the wall. You're pretty much, I think, anti-immigrant, like in paranoid state of frenzy against immigrants, so, <laughs> which, is, which is ridiculous, but yeah. Um, how that's is another it? thing we strongly disagree on, I guess. <laughs> how is it that you come into a country that protects you from your country and you don't have a sense of appreciation for it? Um, fuck, how do I, I guess I, I, I guess I do appreciate if you, yeah, if you want me to, I guess I do appreciate you guys letting me come here, but yeah, You're not I, sure. in a way I, I feel it entitled too, I guess. You feel because, entitled? Yeah. And what caused you to feel entitled? Why should we be happy to have you here? Um, I think basically a socialistic mindset is, um, you should just feel good if you help other people. So as you said, like before, um, you, you're t saying that uh, people, immigrants come in here for um, the healthcare and the education. 
why is it, why is that a bad thing? You're helping them <laughs> out. They're they're leading a life far better than they would be in like the Middle East or some hellhole they're in. Why shouldn't you feel happy? Why shouldn't they stay there and fight for their country to improve their country? Why should we take all these people from the asshole countries? Because they're leading far worse and horrible lives. That's that's why they came here to lead a much better life. And I think America should welcome them and 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 you know feel good that they that we're helping them with health care and education instead so, of all they're leeching off of. Right now we're trying to get rid of the docker. You know what docker is, right? Uh, the, yeah. the illegals who came over as children. Yeah, so ridiculous, yeah. <laughs> and so you're not for sending them back. What do you think about, they feel entitled as well. Oh That's, yeah. You notice that? They try to tell us what to do, how to do it, when to do it. They're marching and protesting. You mm -hmm. think it's right for them to do that? Or should they just be quiet and appreciate so that we can say, okay, they're nice people, let's keep them. Oh, no, it's ridiculous. It's an, the anti-immigrant sentiment is completely ridiculous. I, I, ridiculous. I think you guys are like um, also worried about the fact that there, um, people from other countries are coming in here and changing the culture of America. Yes. I think that's completely fine. Why would that be a problem? You think that's fine to change the culture of America? Yeah. But they're gonna, if they do that, if we allow that, they're going to end up with the same kind of hellhole they left. All they're doing uh, is bringing their culture here and recreating true. it. They're not making the country better. They're making it worse. Why should we allow that to happen? I think um, to answer that question, it's more, um, it's less of bringing in the bad values of the culture from their other country and more of creating more diverse set of culture. We of don't need that. Culture. Okay, this was really, really interesting. It's the... The guy right there, the entitled immigrants, he's been very, very entitled. It's it's kind of like absurd hearing that boy speak because I feel like illegal immigration is terrible. There's a front door for everything. If you pass through the front door and they allow you, you can come in. But if you pass through the back door when it's illegal and it says illegal and you try to come in, they the deportation straight. They should deport you. So if you, if you think about this illegal immigration, it should not even be something that should be supporting. People should be supporting. No, it's terrible. Because your country is bad, or you feel like you are not, you are not being treated well in your country, you left your country, illegally immigrating to another country, and you feel like you, should, you, you are entitled to be in that country. That is not how the world works. No. Right now, you are, if... A little thing I'll call you a criminal, because if someone is to come into your house and feel entitled to be in your house, it makes no sense. You will want to chase the person outside. So that's how the thing is. Like, you just don't come into someone's country and feel entitled that it's a good thing that you are in that country. If every single person in the entire world is coming in through that way, the country will turn to an asshole. It's, it, 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 it will be destroyed. It, it will be worse than your country you left in the first place. If Americans accept all immigrants, illegal, illegal, into the country, it will be worse than the country they are coming from. It will be terrible. Very, very terrible. And people coming from different countries are bringing in their culture, their behavior, their attitude, their attributes. They are changing America. You understand? And the money they are making in America, they're taking it back to their country. Which means they are, they are, America is green. Should be told that things are changing in America why immigrants come in. Not illegal. I mean, I mean illegal. But the money that they're earning are taken back to their countries. And if you think about it, the illegal immigrants are coming in their numbers, massive numbers. The healthcare, the education, the this and that that's happening. How do you think the government is spending for them? It's the taxpayers' money. The real legal immigrants who, the real legal Owners, people who live in America, who, who, are in, who, are, who are Americans that live there, is a tax money that the government, the federal government as a whole, is using to take care of the illegal immigrants. So, if you think about it, you walk out to sweat, you pay your tax, and people come into your country illegally, and from your tax money, they are taking care of them, whereas they come into the country illegally. And also creating more havoc in the country. Because a lot, a, 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 a lot of 
illegal immigrants have created a lot of bad things in the country because their names and data are not, are not in the system. So when a crime is being committed, they had, they, it's very, very difficult to tell who, who committed a crime. So this student, right, this guy right here, who is very, very entitled, I feel like he shouldn't be deported back to his own country. Because he's not feeling grateful, he's not feeling happy, he's not, he's not, he's not feeling like, he's not appreciating him being in America. It's a privilege for a country to accept you into their country illegally. If we legally say there's a, there's, a, there's a procedure you follow. Because if people are coming in left and right, every single place, America will not be America as it is today. They won't be able to control the mass of people coming in. By doing that, create more havoc and more havoc reduce the economy down. So, I, no, I never support illegal immigration. No. Illegal immigration is, is, is terrible. It's like a criminal boggling into your house. Come through the front door legally and let the procedure start going. If you are suitable for it, come in. If not, you go back to your country. But there's also there's, there's a way of doing everything. You should not go through the back door. It should, it should not be an illegal immigrant jumping into the fence and everything to come to America. No. That is... That is terrible. If you had to put yourself in American shoe, you will know how it feels like. People, people are not just thinking that way. They feel like oh, it's a greener pasture. Let them leave their, their home and come here to come find. It's good to come to a different place. You know, different, don't get me wrong. Come to a different country to come find for a greener pasture, for survival. It is beautiful. But when you do it illegally, that is terrible. It's like a criminal coming to your house through the back door. It is terrible. What if you come through the front door? You knock a guest, they welcome you in, they accept you. Simple as that. That is how it works. But this student right here, or this guy right here is too entitled and his behavior is terrible, guys. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. Bye. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed I got scales all